Hey friends, this is Jose Alvarez from beautiful Nyack, New York. Today I want to teach you that God has not given us a bunch of blessings. Many times in the church we're mistaken. We get mistaken in asking God for this and this and this and that. Bless me with this, bless me with that. In the sense it's not totally wrong, but, but it is not totally right. God has not given us a bunch of blessings. God has given us His Son, Jesus Christ, and where all the blessings of God are contained. Everything that God has, everything that God is, and everything that God wants to do in your life is inside of Christ. It says in Ephesians 3 and 8 and Colossians 2 verse 13 that the, that the unsearchable riches of God are in Christ, inside of Christ. It says all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are in Christ. Here's the key. Christ has been given to you when you accept him in a mystery form. Colossians 1 verse 26 and 27. Christ is given in a mystery form. A mystery is something that cannot be seen and that cannot be tapped into with our physical senses. I believe God did that to hide, to, to hide his treasures from evil men that would want to tap into them for their own corrupt uh, um, purposes. So a mystery cannot be tapped into. A, a mystery has to be revealed, revealed. So Christ, God operates by revelation knowledge. And what we want to do is we want to reveal Christ out of our lives for the simple reason that not only do we want Christ, but we want all the treasures that are in Him. And here's the key. Here's the biggest secret you ever, you ever hear. As Christ is revealed through you, every treasure and every rich is automatically revealed alongside with Him in you because they dwell in Him. Now, what's the key to revelation? The secret to revelation of Christ and His treasures is called obedience. But it's obedience to the Holy Spirit. And I call this the law of the cross. In Matthew 10, verse 38, Jesus says, if you're my disciple, pick up your cross and follow me. What was the cross? The cross was an instrument of death that criminals died upon. So God is saying to you, pick up your instrument of death. It says then in 2 Corinthians that as we die to ourselves, Christ is revealed. The more we die, the more the Christ is revealed. The more that we die, the more that the treasures and riches that are in Him are revealed alongside with Him in us. What's the key to revelation? With every act of obedience, listen to this, with every act of Holy Spirit obedience, the law of the cross that we're carrying comes in, kills a little part of us, and reveals Christ. So the key to, re the key to revealing Christ is to obey. Now, I want to teach you this. Because everything, this is so important, because everything is in Christ, Christ has been made into all things. Christ has been made into all things. Let me explain to you. In 1 Corinthians 1 and 24, 1 Corinthians 1 and 24, Paul says, Paul doesn't, Paul does not say Christ gives us power. Paul says, Christ, the power of God. Christ, the power of God. The power of God is in him. He has been made into the power of God. He has become the power of God. So guess what? The more that he is revealed in you, the more that his power is automatically revealed alongside with him. You don't ask God for, for, for more power. You ask God for more revelation. The same thing with spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 5, 6, and 7. It says that you were enriching him in all utterance and thus prophecy gift, uh, speaking in tongues gift. He says, you're enriched in all gifts as, Christ, as, a, as a testimony of Christ is confirmed in you. The more that Christ is revealed in you, he has become all spiritual gifts. The more that you will automatically prophesy and operate and gifts. One final one, uh, Revelations 19 and 10. When John was going to worship the angel, the angel, the angel said, be careful that you don't worship me, worship Jesus, for the testimony or the revelation of, uh, of, of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. See, he has been made into prophecy. The more that Christ is revealed, the more that we prophesy. 
Well, my friends, I ran out of time from beautiful Nyack, New York. God bless you.